Hello, welcome to the Real Bit Wars. For those of you that have been following us for a while, you might have seen our first video, which was a GB run. We went to Green Bay. Well, we did the same thing today. So we're doing nothing more than just a little pickups video. Mike and I both found some things. It's kind of a rare occasion these days that we actually come home with a stack of games, and we did. So we thought, what the heck? We'll share it with you guys. What'd you get, Mike? Well, first off, we stopped at a place, and I got uh, Zany Golf. It's on a VHS tape, but it's missing the manual. Something I can rebox later. It's supposed to be one of the cardboard ones, but somebody cut it. The same place I got. Uh, which I believed was a sealed copy of FIFA 96, but I opened it, which gave me this nice uh, Champs rebate for $10. Can't wait to cash that in. <laughs> um, stopped at another place, got some DVDs. I got uh, Batman Season 3. So that one's complete. So I have the complete series for that, and then uh, Christmas Carol. Which is Plus. mentioned in our Christmas Carol yeah. video, the Alistair Simpson. Yeah, it's got the uh, black and white and colorized version. Plus I got a stack of uh, Game Boy cases. And then uh, last one I got uh, for the also the Sega, it's uh, Joshua, which is uh, one of the Wisdom Tree unlicensed games. Very nice. Yeah, so what did you get? Well, I also, um, we packaged up, it was 10 cases for a dollar, so Mike took the Game Boy ones, I kept the Game Gear ones. It's kind of a role reversal, you're the Sega yeah. guy, I'm the Nintendo guy, but very cheap, 10 for a buck, you can't pass that up, they sell for a lot more than that. So I was happy to get those because I'm always trying to put my games in cases. Um, I got an NES controller. This is one of the Hyperkin uh, Retron 2 version. It was only $3. I just thought I'll give it a shot. I don't have anything like that and I'm always looking for NES controllers anyhow. Um, I got the Suzuki Extreme Racing for the Dreamcast. I'm just on a racing game kick lately for the Saturn as well as the Dreamcast. I'm playing a lot of those games. Uh, the Green Dog for the Genesis, that's complete. Or no, that one's missing the manual. This one is complete. Uh, Battletech, also for the Genesis. And then I got a Wii game, Astro Boy. What the heck, why not? I have some other Astro Boy games, including some import ones and stuff, so I'm always looking to kind of build a little collection for those. Yeah. And then, this was like my big one, I guess, for the day. Sturmwind for the Dreamcast. This is a homebrew that came out just a few years ago. Really excited to play this. It looks awesome. They, it's a shooter or a shmup as they call them. Developed by um, Red Spot. As we got home, the mailman was walking up. And I got a little package in the mail, so we're going to unbox this right now. But uh, I believe I know what's in here. So I got to show you guys real quick. So what we have here are two reproductions of Master System games. This one is Earthworm Jim, which was only available in Brazil. It was one of those tech toy games, I believe. Yeah. Um, so definitely very cool. Oh, it does have the sticker on there, but it just fell off. The Sega sticker. So I'll give you a little look here. Seems pretty authentic. Typically, I'm not really that big into like bootleg stuff, but this is just so rare. And I really love Earthworm Jim that I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a shot. You can see the back here. Obviously not an original. And the other one, uh, Mike could probably give a little backstory on this, but it's Hook. Yeah, well, it was uh, never released. It was a prototype, and then uh, which was leaked out to the internet. So it looks like somebody made a ROM card of it, or not a ROM card, but a cartridge version of it. Yeah. And it plays similar to like the Super Nintendo. And yeah, you can see the pictures back here. Definitely looks like it's the like a port of the 16-bit version that was on the Sega CD, the Genesis, and the Super Nintendo. Yeah, but again, they, they actually put like a Sega sticker to seal it just like the originals had, which is just really neat, I think. Yeah. It's a nice little touch. But yeah, so a couple of reproductions for the Master System. First time I ever picked any of those up. I'm excited to play these. I really like this game Hook, and I'm a huge Earthworm Jim fan, so it's kind of cool to add those to the collection. I guess that's about it. So, yeah. you know, moderate success. It was a halfway decent pickup we had today. A couple of really nice rare games with the uh, Joshua and Sturmwind. We each got a really nice one. Other than that, it's kind of common stuff. But yeah. it's always nice to touch base with the fans, let you know what we're up to, and just do a little pickups video. Thank you very much for watching The Real... <laughs>